the government, the country, does not have the capacity to spend the kind of money that they are putting in the budget. You know what that means? They are putting it to teeth. Public enterprises moved from having a surplus when they came into government. Public enterprises had a surplus of $8 billion. By the time they left government, public enterprises had a deficit of $9.3 billion. From a surplus, imagine you come in a house and you find $8 billion in your bank account. And after five years of living in the house, you leave a deficit of $9.3 billion. Yo, Daka Dale out the $8 billion. Life has no remote. You have to get up and change it yourself. You hear that, Kevin? You can't depend on anyone to bring changes to your life or money in your pockets. You have to get up and fight for that change. One Love, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't already, take this time to hit that subscription button. You know why? Because we're gonna get the president and the leader of the opposition. Yes, we're gonna get both sides of the kind, both sides to the story right now in this video. And you, the Guyanese, you, the citizen that's gonna be affected by the decisions of both of these parties are gonna hear both polls and you're gonna make a decision in your mind as to who might be telling you the truth and who might be misleading you. Who is saying it in the right way? Is it true? Is the budget too large for the populace? Or is the budget just enough to fix the deficit and to help to improve the infrastructure of the country for all the Guyanese? Is this budget large enough to ensure that every Guyanese is able to share in the wealth, in this new oil wealth that the country have? What do you think? What are your perspectives on the budget? You're going to get a chance right now to hear the perspectives of the leader of the opposition and you're going to get the chance to hear His Excellency, President Ali, speak on the finances of the country. Hit that like button. Hit the subscription button if you're not subscribed already, buddy. And let's get right into this video right now. The government, the country, does not have the capacity to spend the kind of money that they are putting in the budget. You know what that means? They're putting it to teeth. It's a kleptocracy, a government of thieves. And so, we have to keep focus. You must, on your own, contact us. We will provide you the handbills with what we have done. And we did a lot more than them without oil. And go from house to house and let us share it and engage our people. There are those who believe elections are won on social media. You could look good on social media. But real political work is done on the ground. And we need to increase our people on the ground. Once you consider, once you consider yourself to be a APN UAFC supporter or a member, it is your task to go on the ground. I, I said to you, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. We, we're saying to you, our people need to be on the ground talking to people and letting them know that life is worse under the PPP and that we will deliver quality life to them. We promise you already a rent to own. You're going to notice this year budget. I ain't telling them nothing more. Everything you tell them, they come with it with a new swing. We've been telling them we can forgive the student debt. We come with some concoction. I said concoction. <laughs> what are they doing? Everything that we say we will do, 
they come the next time and put it in the budget. But we say we can give free education right away at UG Dempoda. That can empower people. You know? That can make baby turn by and buy turn man. They want that. They are so bent on fooling people and giving out handouts. No, handouts cannot take people out of poverty. You need structured programs to take people out of poverty. Every year, our children fall out of school. And the joke of a minister of education doesn't see the need for a proper literacy program. She doesn't see the need for a proper night school program we have so many young people that need to go back to school including the president right and so and so we the apn uafc will put a network of night schools in this country so the people that the PPP education system failed will be able to go back to school. We will put in place a national school transportation network. You notice then touching the one at all? Because they're not putting them for teeth. They're going to take the children to school, take the burden off the parents, so they ain't bother with them. This government lacks vision. This government lacks common sense. I'm saying to you, pong for pong, we have a better academic core than the PPP that can carry this country. I don't care what that trait they put in front of the name. They are blasted patients. You could put what doctor in front of your name. It will be evident that you are a patient. If you can't call some basic words. By the end of his term, he will have a dictionary of wrong words. And you know, I don't know if you have watched the video. The man said the ignorance with confidence. And he repeats it. My father used to tell me, if you're stupid, just do it once. But if you do it twice, you're a jackass. I never said that. Somebody said, I said we got a jackass. Never said that. Never said we got a jackass a president. Let me, let me repeat what I said before they send the ERC that is only target we. I said, my father used to tell me as a child, do it one time, you're stupid. But if you repeat it, you're a jackass. Whatever conclusion you all arrive at, feel free. When... I'm saying to you, and we haven't put out yet all the persons who will support us and be on our list in future, but there are many more. And so, we could take them on. Our party is a different party. We counselors could talk. The PPP is the only party I know that one man with mouth. Barrett. And unless he open him out and say, hey, fan, say something. Well, he don't run that. He doesn't know to talk. That is the foundation we have to build on. Let's look at another history. The deficit by central government. The deficits of the central government increased from 9.3 billion in 2015 to $30 billion by the time he came back in government and increased by 222%. Public enterprises moved from having a surplus when they came into government. Public enterprises had a surplus of $8 billion. By the time they left government, public enterprises had a deficit 
of $9.3 billion. From a surplus, imagine you come in a house and you find $8 billion in your bank account. And after five years of living in the house, you leave a deficit of $9.3 billion. Yo, Daka Dale out the $8 billion. You hammer it out. And then not only were you satisfied with hammering it out, but you left a deficit for the man who's coming after you of $9.3 billion in the public enterprises. This represents an increase of almost $17 billion. That is what you inherited, my dear Guyanese. That is the fallen planning frame that we inherited. That is what we had to build from. Next Friday, I will take you on the journey of how we took this mess that was handed to us and transform it into what today is leading to prosperity of our country and positioning our country as the fastest growing economy in the world. Thank you, good evening, and remember, we have to stick to the facts. And I challenge them to represent their facts and to represent their legacy in the parliament. God bless all of them. Thank you. So let's have a conversation about this in the comments section. And this is serious and this is important. We heard both sides of the story, Diana. At home and abroad, we heard both sides of the story, you know. The past is already the past. It cannot be rewritten if that is an actual record, if that is an actual factual that President Ali was representing when he made those statements. Then we really need to look into that. And we need to look into what the Honorable Mr. Norton was saying as well. What is going on? If the budget is that large and so many people are claiming that they might not be seeing the benefits from his perspective, right? We know as the persons that just analyze both of this situation here, we got to say to ourselves, listen, we're both, we're all grown people in this place here. And if we don't make the right decision, it's the same thing perpetuating cause as you could see. This person saying is this one, the other one saying is that one. But we got to analyze what is in the record, what is in the black and white, what is the facts of the matter. Does Guyana have the populace to compensate such a large budget? Does Guyana have such a populace to compensate all of this infrastructural development? Is it needed? What do you guys think? Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Is it a kleptocracy? Like the Honorable Norton referenced? Or is it more to this conversation here? Is there something that's being covered up? Did the government really inherit all of that deficit after five years? Let's have a conversation, Guyana. Because that's important. Because then we could move forward in wisdom. And that's what's needed in the richest country in the world. Nobody, no matter the skin color, the so called race, religion, or creed, as long as you're Guyanese, you're supposed to be suffering. We're hard working people all over the world. We're going to work hard. We deserve better. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Life has no remote. You have to get up and change it yourself. You hear that, Kevin? You can't depend on anyone to bring changes to your life or money in your pockets. You have to get up and fight for that change or fight for that money in your pockets, Kevin. Don't get up. Don't do something. <laughs> and don't do it for yourself and your family. You guys will be living the same way you're living tonight.
or today or yesterday you want to make positive changes in your life then a greater a good life ahead is not there with this oil the way Bharat Jack deal your government and the opposition handling or managing it I want to say thank you to all the supporters of the channel and for the 92% of the brand new